Hi, everyone. That's my first right now. <laughs> I thought that was a better way to introduce myself rather than telling you all the cool stats about myself, like the flesh in my legs or my identity or the melanin in my skin or the culture I come from. It sounds like I'm being chased by a saber-toothed tiger. <laughs> And yet here I am in my underpants in my apartment. I think, thank you, Creative Capital, for allowing me and my body to experience what it's like to be in a state of fear and actually not doing anything. <laughs> my name is Becca Blackwell. I'm a performance artist, um, writer, whatever, anything that can make me money. I've dealt drugs, I've done sex work, I was a truck driver, I was a circus performer. Sorry, Jackie, I didn't mean to give you a big list like that. Most of my work in the last 30 years that I've been doing this have been in collaboration with other artists. Here are pictures of me in those collaborations. What that basically means is there are images of me on the internet. That's what this shows. But I am a collaborative partner and I do love that. My birthday is August 26 and I guess according to Horoscope, I am the supportive partner. And here's that representation. My personal work has been mostly me using the container of stand-up comedy to talk about being sexually abused as a child so many times that I think if they did a Lifetime movie of it, even Meryl Streep might be like, huh, I don't think so. Also dealing with my sexuality. Um, now that I look like an 8chan nightmare, I'm no longer the lesbian I thought still think of myself as. And these issues I like to do with humor. I think what my greatest gift is that I can sit in a space of deep suffering and still find the space to laugh. But recently my work has opened up as I've tried to understand a greater sense of just my identity and not being pigeonholed by that. I started studying Wu Ming Qinggong, which Wu Ming translated means no name which part of the Tao Te Ching means the moment you name something, you take away truly what it is and the full expression of itself. And so that's what this project is, The Body Never Lies. It's something that my grandmaster, Nan Lu, who I study with, has always said to us, your body never lies to you. And that's something that I've been deciding, how can I make art about that? And I'm actually very excited about using all the skills that I have as an entertainer and as a humorist and all these things and making this piece. Currently right now, it's uh, having an exhibition at Soho Rep. I was a part of their Project One group. And right now there are two booths in their space at 46 Walker Street. The first booth is you can sit inside a tiny cardboard box and listen to up to 100 heartbeats at the same time, which I believe is what our bodies have missed this last year and a half of not being in a space together, a church, a bar, a club, a dance hall, a play. And you can listen to each heartbeat individually. And I kind of write a little story about what those are on library index cards. Who doesn't love the Dewey Decimal System? And in the other booth, you can leave me a sound and I'm actually excited to see what this month where people leave me sounds from their body using a stethoscope, a fetal monitor, or a, a, a microphone. I'm actually excited because there is no limit to what this is. I really need right now, um, I'm really curious about anyone who has a connection to Monam in Berlin, um, anyone that could do a month long residency for state of the art technology where I can actually play with frequency and actually isolating sounds from organs. And is there actually a way that frequency and those sounds are communicating with seasons and time of day and a lot of the things I'm learning in traditional Chinese medicine. I'm also really interested in anyone who has deep knowledge about the Sumerian language. Anyone can get me a tour of an anechoic chamber or field laboratories, maybe. Also, scuba dive lessons. I think that water and sound is something. I just took it online. And anyone who can help me catalog all these files and technologies, I'm about to inundate myself with a ton of data. Thank you so much. Jackie, you're amazing. Crux, you're amazing. All my awardees, fuck yeah, we did it. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm going to go freak out right now. I love you all. Talk to me.